Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jermaine from That Christian Fam, and today we're going to be talking about signs that you are dating a narcissist. That and more after the bumper. You're watching That Christian Fam. Thanks for joining us on That Christian Fam, a.k.a. The King's Realm. Now, y'all know that as Christians, we don't date. We court. Because when we get into a relationship with someone, it's our intentions to move that relationship towards marriage. Some of y'all out there, y'all not courting. Y'all straight up dating. And for the sake of the YouTube algorithm, we gonna keep it at dating. This part two of our four-part series on Narcissism 101. And if you missed last week's webisode, you can find it in the description below. But tonight, we're going to be addressing signs you are dating a narcissist let's dive into some traits trait number one they're very stingy with you and I'm not talking about in a protective way I'm talking about isolation and if you have any relationships outside of them it don't matter how healthy or justifiable they are they will find a way to not only throw shade but to make you feel guilty about having those relationships and they make statements like am I not good enough for you am I not all that you need Time out, time out, time out. First of all, that would be God. But that's very fitting because most narcissists view themselves as their own God. Two, they ghosted people and actually feel good about it. Three, they're first and foremost concerned about how good they look. And they're concerned about how good you look. But the only reason they're concerned about how good you look is because if you look bad, that is a negative reflection on them and it makes them look bad. That's a narcissist. Number four, they blame you for everything wrong in the relationship and they never take ownership for anything that they do. Number five, they get passed up for the promotion and then they get an attitude with you. Like they straight up legit got an attitude and they get upset with you number six if they do an assessment on their lives and they find out that they're not satisfied where they are in life they will blame things on you and say stuff like you holding me back i could be so much further in life if it wasn't for you you're weighing me down now the obvious rebuttal to that is well if you feel that way then why don't we just chuck deuces and you find somebody else and the answer is control despite all of the bad things they got to say about you they suck all of that up and say, you know what? I can control her. I can dominate her. And that's why they won't let you go. But here's something you got to catch. There's blame to be had on both sides. They may be guilty of being a narcissist, but you're also guilty of being foolish at times. If and when you heard these sayings along the way, maybe you should have took heed to them. Like when you hear stuff like, it's not what the man drives, it's what drives the man. You might want to pay attention to that. Maybe when your mama pulled you to the side and said, girl, I don't know about him. Maybe you should have listened to her instead of jumping head first into the relationship with this dude. Now, one thing to keep in mind is just because a person demonstrates one or two of these traits, that doesn't make them a narcissist. But if most of these traits I mentioned sound familiar, you might want to... Listen, I know it's hard, but it's nowhere near as hard as the life you're signing up for if you continue to pursue a relationship with this person. Look, I get it, I get it, I get it. Women, y'all love to take on projects. You were designed and created to be a helper, but that same strength that you have can also serve as a weakness and create a blind spot in your life. So when it comes to assessing a man and seeing all of his red flags hitting you in the face, you ignore those red flags and say, nah, he all right, I just need to help him here here and there but listen when it comes to a narcissist all bets are off because with a narcissist let me tell you what you're signing up for you're signing up for never having a voice in the relationship the possibility that he could break up with you at the drop of a dime disregard your feelings and move on to a new person by the weekend always having to gracefully bow out in a disagreement because there's no way he's gonna make you feel like you have a valid point in a disagreement always being second place in the relationship just existing in his shadow the danger in all that is you end up living a shell of the life that you could have lived had you not been tied up with this narcissist you were created for purpose not just pain you were created to thrive not just survive you were created to reflect the image of God not just exist in his shadow you were fearfully and wonderfully made it's time for you to stop settling and just trust God for more I spoke from a female's point of view because about 80% of all narcissists are men. But don't get it twisted, ladies. That don't negate that 20%. So, bruh, if you're out there watching this video, just flip the roles. We'll be back next week of part three of our four-part series of Narcissism 101 addressing the topic, 
when you're married to a narcissist. I know that this can go a lot deeper, but we're gonna save some of that for next week. I wanna challenge you to keep trusting God and not depend on yourself. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. If you just stay with God, trust and believe that he has better out there for you. I hope this helps somebody on the other side of that video. If you offend it, I really don't care. This is Jermaine from That Christian Fam, AKA The King's Realm, where we shape our worldview around God's reality. I'm a passing by the old church, reminiscing, driving slow. The king made the shepherd fight Goliath in some giant clothes. The armor I was wearing wasn't fit for the description. A pious type of poverty, but wasn't quite conviction. So this is 